Okay, fight fans and fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. First up, congratulations are due, as usual, Guillermo Rigondo. Fantastic fight, great atmosphere. England might just be his future home. Very appreciative and knowledgeable boxing fans in England. So I think it's a marriage made in heaven. Fantastic interview afterwards. The Jackal might just have found a home for him to do his craft. Beautiful stuff and I'm very happy he got a warm welcome over there. That'll lead me into MMA. Bellator MMA went down. Michael Venom Page had a terrific fight. Quick knockout, highlight real stuff, a lot of people talking about this kid, and uh, nowadays Bellator isn't seen as so much of a B side to UFC's A side, so, you know, good on Venom Page, a little sad for his opponent Santos, honestly just crazy, crazy knee to the head, the picture says a thousand words. Uh, there's a GoFundMe campaign to help him out, and I know Michael Venom Page has actually donated to it. So, uh, you know, the guy's probably facing retirement after uh, an injury like that. So, uh, good on him for having respect for his opponent. That leads me back to boxing. Erickson Lubin. I told you guys a few times about this kid. He just continues to shine. There's still some polishing to do. He's not all the way there yet, but he definitely shows so much promise. Looking forward to this kid fighting again. Last but not least, the heavyweight champ. Congratulations, Deontay Wilder. I gotta give him props for fighting despite the broken hand and torn bicep. I will point out that the gash on his elbow, which he claimed was from yard work, seemed to be related to the torn bicep. Now, it would make sense for him not to mention falling off a motorcycle or something, you know, days before his fight. And uh, especially that his last fight was cancelled and this one was in front of his hometown crowd and he was looking to put on a show. So, even with the giant scab on his elbow, good on Deontay Wilder for still going out there and putting on a hell of a performance. Uh, he definitely broke his hand in the ring though. I don't think he broke his hand doing some yard work or something. I think the torn bicep might be related to the elbow. That being said, he also called out Joshua or the winner of Klitschko Fury, which... In all reality, I would love a unified champ. The only thing is, uh, I'm not sold on Deontay Wilder. I do not think he beats David Hay. I do not think he beats Shannon the Cannon Briggs. I do not think he beats Bermain Stavern in a rematch. And all of these guys are not title holders. The biggest dude I do not see him beating is King Kong Ortiz. Man, uh... Ortiz is just on a whole different planet. And more so now that he's stuck with Golden Boy, he is kind of like on a no man's island. Because I don't really know how we can get Ortiz to those title fights. Despite me thinking Ortiz can pretty much clean house and beat everybody. Financially speaking, promotion side of things, it's a tough career for Ortiz. I don't know what we gotta do. Hopefully people start talking about him more. Man, King Kong Ortiz, people. Just look into him. The clock's ticking. We can cash in on something great here. But we gotta move on it quick. That leads me to what's going on in and around the Fight City and on thefightcity.com. As usual, great articles and posts on the daily for you guys to check out. Make sure you hit up our Facebook page. We're constantly posting videos and pictures and links on there as well for you guys to appreciate. And obviously our biggest draw, Twitter, we do a lot of tweeting. Make sure to check out our Twitter account, at the Fight City. As far as the news, a lot of people talking about Canelo Smith and Brooke Triple G. And a lot of people talking smack about the fights. And I can see why, I get it, I understand. It's a messed up thing. Some guys are even trying to make it sound like, oh, well, this is the way it's supposed to be. Throwback fighters, the best versus the best. Yes, but if all the best of the same weight class fought each other, then going outside that weight class makes sense. 
but avoiding everyone in your weight class or skipping over everyone in a weight class just because everyone's avoiding one particular guy is not... It's just not good. Um, look, here's the thing. I, I say we start this movement. As opposed to talking bad about the fight or to make it sound like it's a throwback, how about this? How about we root for upsets? Hmm? How about we root for Smith and we root for Brooke? Let's shake up the fucking boxing world. Let's fuck up Canelo and Triple G. Let's really root for Smith to somehow beat Canelo and for Brooke to somehow beat Triple G. I think that would be the best pie in the face to these boxing promoters that think they're doing something smart. That leads me to my last two bits of news. The Quebec card, the PBC Quebec card with Adonis Stevenson is uh, shaping up now and we're getting some more details about the undercard. Got good news, Dwayne Durrell seems to be on the undercard, same as Jojo Dan. Been looking forward to Jojo Dan being in the ring. Nobody is in that gym more than Jojo Dan. The guy sleeps, the guy wakes up, the guy boxes, he goes back to sleep, and then he wakes up to box again. That's all he does. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no days off, every day in the gym, no excuses. I can't, it makes no sense. I walk in there because I forgot something, a couple hours later, there he is. Uh, you know, he's there twice a day sometimes, Jojo Den. He is absolutely for real. A lot of people like to talk smack and try and throw him into categories and name other name fighters that could possibly fight him and stuff. I don't like doing that stuff, especially when it's local. Uh, does either guy no good. One guy's name is bigger than the other, and the other guy is probably going to get beat, and that'll be the end of him. So I'm not for those stupidities. I am more inclined to root that. Each guy get to grow their career and have their own path. Now, as far as news goes on on that fight, I'm supposed to be going. Hopefully, everything pulls through with the sponsors and money and whatnot, and I get to book everything on time. Fingers crossed, I will be in Quebec City to witness all of it. Last bit of news. I'm going to give you guys a small scoop. I'm going to do it on here because although I have a lot more success on reaching people, Pretty much in everything else I do except these videos, I've decided to release this information on this video. The French media here is going to have to apologize. Now I know that's pretty vague, but that's all I'm going to give you for now. Uh, mainly because I have a feeling lawsuits and money will be involved and I don't want to jeopardize any of that for anybody. But trust me when I say this. Look at this face. Look at this smile. They're gonna have to apologize. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you guys next week.